Hi folks, in this session we're going to look at how to create a Kvyat chart. And so Kvyat chart, which looks like this, is a little bit different to our standard polar or radar chart um, in that it has this indication of a, a range um, of values that we're, we're interested in keeping an eye on. So it's particularly useful in cases where, where we have some sort of limits, an upper and a lower limit, and we want to ensure or, or check to see that our measurements or values are falling within that particular range. So in this particular example we have, uh, for example, a, a set of vendors, so we're, we're looking at some sort of vendor selection, and uh, um, this is perhaps uh, measurements of those vendors over a number of years and we're seeing how their performance uh, is falling within our acceptable uh, levels of of performance. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to start by getting rid of this guy um, and we'll start from scratch. So let's just make a bit of room here. So very first thing I'm going to do is uh, I want to in insert a column in my row of data. I'll do it again. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to insert a, um, a upper bound and a lower a lower bound. Okay, and my upper bound is I'm going to set at a value of 90, 90%. And my lower bound is, for this case, going to be 50. I will just put that in for each of each of those. Okay, so just going to uh, smarten up the chart area a little bit. Make it all look similar. Okay, so that's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert my, my chart. I mark my data area set here. I'll go into my menu options, insert into my charts ribbon into other charts, down to radars, I'm going to insert uh, what we call a filled radar chart. Okay, so we're, we're on the road. So now what I need to do is I need to tidy up the way this is displayed. These are all overlapped and we can't see what's underneath, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by uh, selecting a data set in here. So a little bit tricky here, we need to make sure that we are positioned on one of the uh, lines or edges of that uh, little uh, uh, data set. We do format data series. We go into marker fill. We do no fill. And straight away we see that that area has disappeared. Now we still want to be able to visually see it. So we're going to go into line style and uh, uh, line color. Sorry, we start with line color. Solid line. We tick our color, whichever we want. We'll leave it at green for the moment. Uh, we we'll go back to line style, and now we can change the width. So we're going to we'll put that at perhaps at at three. Um, now we're going to do that for each of the the three vendor data set series. Now this is just where it gets a little bit tricky because sometimes you can't actually select uh, the one. So we're going to have to um, tab tab through them. But at the moment, I can still get vendor two. Uh, format data series, I go to marker fill, uh, I'm going to do uh, no fill, we go to line color, solid line, pick a different one, let's say pick red, line style, then we're going to thicken that up so we can we can see it a bit better. So we one more uh, data set here in our three three vendors. Um, now we can't actually get to it through here. So when the when the if I click that, it's it's not the one behind that I'm trying to trying to get to. So one of the tricks is we hold down the shift key, and we use the left right arrows to rotate through the different set data sets until we get the one we we want highlighted. So we can see this one here. Do a right mouse click on that. Format data series. Marker fill. No fill line color, solid line, let's take yellow, line style and thicken it up again to three. Okay so we're nearly finished here now. 
Uh, last thing we need to do is we want to get this uh, area in here, which is our lower bound. And uh, so we're going to go through those with the right mouse key and shift again, format data series. And then here we're going to go marker fill, solid fill, and we're going to change the color to white. Okay, so that's that's looking pretty good. So finally, I just find this color a little bit too too heavy, a bit too dark. So I'm just going to go in and change that to something a little less uh, offensive. So perhaps something like that. Um, but it's it's up to your own your own preference, of course. Okay, so there we go. There's our Kvyat chart. Uh, one final thing is. To, we want to get rid of this in our legend, the upper bound, and our not that our lower bound, and that just gives us a uh, a nice clean legend. Then, of course, similar to our polar chart, if we wanted to um, put in a title up up the top here, we go up to our chart tools, we do layout, chart title, above chart, and. Uh, we type in whatever we want.